Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the end of the month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, so let's get right into your reading, Pisces. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. For the remaining of February, going into the first two weeks of March. All right, so your first card here is stay optimistic about your love life. Second card is playfulness. And third card is heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Okay, so what they're saying here is positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. For those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, uh, what they're saying here is that you need to learn to be a little bit more playful when it comes to partnerships or dating. Um, a lot of the times we go into, as an example, when we go into a date for the first time or getting to know someone, you go into this uh, connection with expectancies. And what they're telling you is you need to learn to be a little bit more playful with that. Uh, don't have expectations. Don't don't build someone up based off of your perception of them. Uh, so what they're telling you here is go with the energy, go with the flow. Uh, keep an open mind. The person that's coming towards you could be a person that could be a little bit more uh, the opposite of who your personality type um i do see them being a little bit more like outgoing a little bit more like really putting themselves um it could even be a person that tends to uh have a lot of attention or get a lot of attention um so again what they're saying here is that learn to be a little bit more playful when it comes to dating per se uh, when you go into a date or when you're getting to know someone don't go with any expectations whatsoever. Uh, again, like I said, let the energies flow organically and convince yourself or teach yourself to think this way in the sense of if this is not the person that's right for me, uh, this is the path that is going to lead me to the one that is right for me. Uh, so that way, uh, if things don't go right or down the road, you find out that you guys don't really get along or is it, there's no chemistry there, at least you know uh, and you're still putting the intention of, you know, it didn't work out. That's fine because it's leading you to the one that's right for you. So you're still remaining on a high positive vibration. And that's exactly what you want to bring in. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So again, keep an open mind. Uh, playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Don't be afraid to make a fool out of yourself. Sometimes that's necessary. It's okay for us to uh, make fun of ourselves or, you know, how we are. Uh, having this type of energy, this playful type of energy, you don't um, really go into partnerships or you don't go into datings uh, with, with that stress or that worry of having to portray or having to be the best that you can possibly be. If anything, be honest with yourself, be straightforward, be truthful to you and to those that are coming in connection with you when it comes to dating. Uh, this will lead you to the person that is uh, ideally, like I said, uh, a better partner for you. Not only that, but someone that could be uh, sensitive, someone that could be very nurturing to your nature. So again, uh, ultimately, that's what you're wanting, uh, Pisces. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, um, staying optimistic and positive speaks to me about working on the relationship. For some of you guys, uh, perhaps the past couple of months, uh, there's been this progress or this, you know, new, uh, new cycle in your life where you guys are learning to be more playful with each other uh, to keep the passion going for some of you guys even having heart to heart conversations more often than not perhaps something you didn't do in the past and i do see you guys connecting on a very deeper level so again i see very positive optimistic type of connection for the end of february going into march uh, i do see your partner really wanting to uh, learn more about your uh learn more about your hobbies or learn more about 
your ideals, what it is that you are wanting from life. Uh, again, it goes back to that of having heart to heart conversations, honestly discussing your feelings with each other and almost motivating each other or cheering each other on. So that's definitely a very, very positive read. Um, also, for those of you guys that are currently single, what they're telling me is that for some of you guys, uh, you may be very drawn to an Aries man or Aries woman, uh, a Leo as well, um, or a Sagittarius, as I do see a lot of fiery type of energy. And what they're telling me is, again, it's contrast to your energy. I think that this will mesh very well. Uh, and again, the, if they are or if they tend to be very confident, a bit almost coming off a bit cocky, could rub you the wrong way. But what they're telling you here is keep an open mind uh, because this type of energy is definitely going to be an energy where uh, both of you guys can bring out the best in each other. So that's definitely a beautiful thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.